Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from the Charlestown Races in the Slots Casino, Charlestown, West Virginia on Sunday afternoon, August the 14th. And this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 4 this afternoon, folks. 2.12 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 8.5 roll on route test on the dirt. 3 year rolls and up race for a claiming purse of $11,000. Contenders number 9, Ty Ray. Number 7, Don't Sell Me felons number two five star general and number 14 pro crusties number nine tyree a nine to two shot is turned in power on performances in five straight starts hitting the board in four goes to the post with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of jd acosta and chris grove in his corner they've hit the board with an even 50 percent of more than 300 entry saddles a team to date Number seven, Don't Sell Me, Town of Felons, has produced a quartet of power runs in the respective last five, comes off a circle trap performance in his last start. Race four summary, number nine, Ty Ray, tops the contenders list, which also includes number seven, Don't Sell Me, Town of Felons, number two, Five Star General, and number 14, Pro Crusties, 9, 7, 2, 14, and fourth from Charlestown. Bonus long shots, let's go to River Downs. Race five, this might be a stretch, folks. The 30 to 1 bomb, number seven, Queen's Destiny, drops in class by seven units. Decent overall speed for this five and a half furlong sprint. I guess my suggestion would be a two dollar show bet. Ah, eh, what the hell? Two bucks to win. Monmouth Park, race five, the eight to one shot, number eight side by side. The overall speed leader in his claiming field, sprinting at today's distance of six furlongs on the dirt. So from Charlestown on a Sunday afternoon, Rick Needham for DayAtTheTrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.